so let's start with our second lecture so as i told my previous lecture uh, that uh, i will be discussing rates of convergence in this lecture so here are two rates of convergence one is known as q rate and other is known as r rate so uh, we will focus only on q rates because uh, they are the only rates that you will uh, encounter in this lecture series so here is our q rate of convergence okay uh, first uh, is uh, linear or simply uh, q, li q linear or simply linear rate of convergence uh, suppose if our, if our algorithm uh, generates a set of it rate xk um, such that uh, it finally converges to our local minimizer x star then uh, if there is some con uh, there, there is some alpha which is defined in open uh, open uh, interval of uh, 0 to 1 then if this limit uh, limit k tending to infinite or practically it means that k is very large if this limit does uh, difference between our next value of x and our local minimizer divided by uh, our present value of x and uh, the difference uh, with the mid local minimizer take the norm and divide if this limit is equal to alpha such that alpha is in this open interval then we say that our rate of convergence is linear or q linear okay the practical meaning of this thing is that our uh, our uh, for very large value of k we can uh, um, we can assure that our algorithm uh, converges to our local minimizer at least with the rate alpha and you can see as alpha increases rate decreases and as alpha decreases our rate of convergence our uh, rate of convergence decrease uh, increases so it was uh, linear now uh, here's our uh, super linear rate of convergence and uh, uh, the only difference between linear and superlinear is that uh, in superlinear this alpha is equal to zero. Okay. Now let's uh, focus on uh, quality rate of convergence and uh, any other higher rate of convergence. Uh, so let there be a Q uh, uh, greater than one such that this limit uh, here is it was simply this limit but here it is uh, denominator to power Q denominator is to power q okay so if this is equal to phi and uh, the only constraint on phi is that our phi should be greater than zero there is no other constraint on phi that phi should belong to zero to one and any other constraint there is no such constraint only if we require is that phi should be greater than zero okay if this happens and uh, if q is equal to two then we say that our rate of convergence is quadratic if q is greater than 2 suppose 3 we say it is cubic and likewise you can define any other uh, any higher rate of convergence okay so this was all about our q rate of convergence now let us start with line search methods so here is an overview of line search method line search method is uh, such that at uh, every it rate we update our uh, value of x okay and uh, at every iterate we first choose our search direction q and then we uh, we find a step a step length to move in this direction away from our present value to get our next value of x okay and this uh, q is uh, descent direction okay it means it will uh, decrease our uh, it will decrease the value of our objective function but uh, in later around uh, uh, la later uh, you will see that uh, we will choose uh, uh, we will allow our fun objective uh, function of objective value to increase we will tackle uh, those cases in uh, upcoming lectures okay but uh, for now just uh, this q is just a descent uh, descent direction okay as I said, q is our descent direction at it rate k and eta is defined as a step length. Okay. So here is the second slide. Wolf conditions. Okay. Now Wolf condition is a combination of two conditions. Okay. First is R meso condition. It is also known as sufficient decrease condition. And second is this curvature condition. Okay. I will show you the practical meaning of uh, both these condition uh, through MATLAB 
okay now first uh, let us focus on our meso condition which is also known as sufficient decrease condition okay uh, our our meso condition says that our uh, value of uh, our objective function uh, at uh, x k plus 1 is uh, less than or equal to our uh, present value of our objective function plus some constant beta 1 times our uh, step length times a uh, q transpose gradient of f okay it says that uh, this value should be less than or equal to this value okay this is known as sufficient decrease condition okay and second is our curvature condition okay curvature condition oh yeah one more thing uh, this f of xk plus eta qk here uh, we assume that we already found our such direction q okay so here q and uh, for uh, f- for this iterate xk and qk are constant and therefore uh, del of f and uh, f of xk we already know so these are also constant beta is also constant so this function is sometime defined as function of eta uh, um, and this is uh, a linear function which we uh, define i think i define is xi of eta okay yeah here yeah, okay. it is defined as xi of eta okay so this function f of xk plus eta uh, qk since we know xk we know e- qk we define this function as a function of eta which i defined as uh, omega of eta okay so this function is defined as omega of eta and this is then this function is linear in eta so we uh, we say it uh, xi of eta okay so our curvature condition uh, practical meaning of this curvature condition is that uh, our gradient of function omega of eta okay for any general eta should be greater than equal to gradient of this function omega of eta at eta equal to 0 okay this should be greater than or equal to some constant beta 2 times gradient of omega at eta equal to 0 okay this is our gradient of omega at eta eta equal to 0 it, it is a del of fk okay that is the gradient of f at the value xk okay this is del of f of xk oh sorry del of f of uh, yeah uh, f of xk or f of k and here is a condition on beta 1 and beta 2 uh beta 2 and beta 1 should lie in open interval of uh, open interval 0 to 1 and beta 1 should be less than beta 2 okay and uh, you can easily see that uh, that this is our descent direction so this uh, this value is negative as well as this value these both are negative so it uh, it says that uh this our uh, our gradient at any general value of eta should be greater than some constant times gradient at eta equal to 0 okay so 